Hey, this is a quick tutorial about how to set up an environment for web GUI development for my robot lab. Um, first question would probably be, what's the web GUI? This is the web GUI. It's an interface um, we're currently working on. Um, and it's looking pretty nice and gaining new functionality all the time. So now I'm going to show how to set up an environment. So that someone can add stuff easily and safely um, to this interface. So I've posted a group of links that should be useful. Um, and a list of dependencies. And the dependencies are Java 8 and Git and curl. Um, all three of these can be found on the major operating systems, both Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. And uh, once you've installed those, then uh, you can come here and um, run a series of commands that I put together and checked in under a file called makewebdev.bat. This is checked into the git repo uh, here. And uh, you can download the file, um, or in my case, I'm just going to copy the whole thing and next make a directory that you want to put all this stuff in. In this case, I made one um, called Grog, and I'll uh, instead of downloading the file, which would also work if you marked it as executable, but I'm just going to copy and paste because I'm lazy. So the first thing that it does, it creates a subdirectory called dev and then begins a clone of inmove2 into it. And then when it's done with that, it will clone another repo, my robot lab repo at the same level. If I show you what that looks like, then here's Grog, and then we have dev, and then the two repos, inmove2 and my robot lab. So this one takes a little while because it's fairly big. Um, and then what's going to happen next is it's going to CD into my robot lab. It's going to pull the latest. Um, it's going to do a git status, which is nice to see <coughs> what, the, what the current status of git is within a repo. And then it's going to download the latest. This is a URL to the latest my robot lab jar. And it's going to put that jar into this directory. So dev my robot lab. Uh, this will fill out. Looks like cl clone just got done and it's moving on to curl. And yeah, there we go. So now it's downloading the jar. And then the next thing that we'll be doing is since my robot lab is a group of services, it will be installing all the service dependencies for all the services, which is this command, which it looks like it started. This will take a long time the first time on the computer, but uh, once it's done the first time, most of it's cached on the computer itself. And then uh, uh, subsequent installs of services will go a lot quicker. Uh, this one takes a while because they've chosen to do this little parens instead of bracket, which means go out and search and see if there's anything newer. Uh, and move to does the same thing. Well, let's see. While that's going on, what will happen next is this command where uh, it will start the system up. And it will start it with a web GUI service, a Python service, in move to service, and the intro service. Right here, it's unzipping all the resources. Now it's starting. There. Wow. Good. Actually worked. Um, let's see. So on the left hand side, we have web GUI, security, runtime, Python, intro, 
in the IO01. So we have, let's see, six services currently running. Um, they all do different things. Um, and uh, so what we want to do now is um, we want to hit, so this is loaded in Chrome. And if we hit F12, you'll get, let me remove this so I can add it back. You'll get dev tools from Chrome, which is really a very impressive JavaScript and HTML and CSS editor. And uh, what we want to do is add a couple of source directories to it. And you do that by add a workspace. And you have to drill all the way down, if you remember the path, grog, dev, my robot, lab, source, main, resources. Re there's now a source, main, resources, resource, web, GUI directory, and an app directory. And we'll just add that, and then it asks you to verify, are you sure you want to allow <clears throat> that file system? And we say yes. And uh, already I've, I've done this just to test it before and uh, it worked. But uh, let's see cause and effect. I always like to see cause and effect. Um, so if I get rid of this now um, and then refresh, go back to web GUI, it's gone. And then if we re add it again, we can add text or JavaScript or whatever um, <clears throat> there's a whole bunch of short key shortcuts like one that i use most often is Control shift o and then i search for the file i'm interested in web gui um, gui.js these are the two important files for the web gui gui service and uh, so yeah, any changes you do here, you will immediately be able to see here. So um, let's see, it's working. Refresh. Back to the web GUI. It's working. All right. Now a little bit about Git. Um, right now it's running from that directory that we ran the script in. So I'm going to open another terminal. And, um, if you look here, I'm in dev my robot lab and I can do git status and it will tell me the file that I've modified, which is really good. And it will also tell me what branch I'm on. Um, so I want to <clears throat> leave this file alone. So what I'm going to do is get checkout that file. So what this is going to do is revert it. My changes that I added and now I do get status. And as you can see, there's no changes. Now what I want to do is I want to switch to a different branch. Um, so I'm going to do get checkout web GUI work. Get status. It's always good. If you want to get the latest stuff uh, from GitHub, then you do a get pull. And it says to me already up to date. So, um, that's all good. Next is, uh, so we can do the same thing now. In our editor, we can say this is web, whoop, web, web GUI work. It's working. So refresh. Back to the web GUI servers. So there's our text. We see it. And then let's examine get status. 
And sure enough, it sees that we have some modifications. Now, if you want to add these modifications and push them back up to GitHub, then we do a git add and we can add just the file. If we wanted to add everything, we would just put det dot and that would add everything. But if we want to add just a single file, then we specify that single file. Um, my copy went out of control, so let's try that again. Copy, paste. So we're going to add our changes here and then get add. And the status changes a little bit. <clears throat> when it turns this to green, it means it's staged. And then um, we want to commit it. And we've got to add a comment and say uh, added silly text. And that worked just fine. And then next is we want to send it to GitHub. We push it. And then you need credentials. Boom. It's up. So if anybody else committed on this same UI, the only thing that you would need to do to get it updated or your your system updated from their changes is you do git pull and that immediately pulls down new the new changes. I demonstrated only the very basics of git. Uh, git is a really powerful tool and it can really help between coordination uh, of different remote people trying to collaborate together. Um, so I hope this demo is useful. Thanks.